Now we're moving on to global update. The U.S. Central Bank could begin withdrawing stimulus this year as the economy rebounds. The Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has said. Meantime, from Asia, Singapore has fully inoculated 80 percent of its 5.7 million people against COVID-19. More stories on today's International Minute. The U.S. Central Bank could begin withdrawing stimulus this year as the economy rebounds, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jeremy Powell has said. However, he said the bank was in a rush to raise interest rates despite a recent spike in inflation. The U.S. economy contracted sharply during the pandemic but has bounced back strongly in 2021. The U.S. city of New Orleans has lost power with only generators working as Hurricane Ida batters Louisiana. The storm brought 150 miles per hour winds when it made landfall and those people who did not flee have been advised to shelter in place. Ida will test New Orleans flood defenses strengthened after Hurricane Katrina killed 1,800 people in 2005. OPEC and its allies are expected to press on with their planned revival of oil production when they meet next week as prices bounce back from their August tumble. The coalition led by Saudi Arabia and Russia is gradually restoring the vast amount of crude production halted during the pandemic and will probably ratify the next monthly installment when it gathers on September 1st. Singapore has fully inoculated 80% of its 5.7 million people against COVID-19 becoming the world's most vaccinated country and setting the stage for further easing of curbs that gives the tiny city-state the world's highest rate of complete vaccinations, according to a tracker by the Reuters News Agency. Other countries that have high vaccination rates include the United Arab Emirates, Uruguay and Chile. IDX Channel reports.